All right, boys and girls. Hello, my name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum and Real Illusion Forum. That's where you can normally find me, Real Illusion Forum. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you one more thing with my script uh, as I continually uncover things uh, to do and, and about it. Um, I was I was loaded in Stonemason's Urban Future 4. Uh, I, li I really like Stonemason stuff. I, I'm a strong believer in, in the stuff, the work he does. He does some amazing things, particularly his uh, more recent work. Uh, I like like the Streets of London and the Steampunk London. Love, love that stuff. But anyway, Stone, this particular um, file from Stonemason was not a Duff file, okay? Sometimes the files aren't Duff files. Sometimes they're uh, different kinds of files. Let's see if I can show you that. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll go to Dad's content, and we'll go to props. He, oddly enough, a lot of his stuff ends up in prompts. I'm not quite sure why he categorizes that stuff that way, but we'll go to Stonemason, and we'll go down to uh, Urban Future 4, and you can see, for example, that this, uh, the entire set is a DAZ file, dot D-A-Z, okay? I think that's an older format. I'm, I'm no DAZ expert, but I believe that's an older format from DAZ. The problem is my routine expects a duff file in order to find the textures. So what do you do? Okay, so here's here's how you solve that problem. So we load the file in. So this is the DAZ file loaded in. I'm going to go ahead and export this as normal. I'm going to go ahead and export it as we normally would. And I've already done the Urban Future, FBX, Urban Future. I'm, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do that now. But then what we want to do is we're going to go over here and file and save this file, Okay. We want to, I'm sorry, we, we probably want to save as, so that you can see where we're saving it. We're going to save it as a scene, and we're going to save it out to different places. So in this particular case, where we're going to save it is uh, as a DUF file. It automatically saves it as a DUF file, and I saved it to my export uh, directory. So now, when we, when we run this, and we go into the exports here, and we go in and we uh, load in this Urban Future 4, and you, and you can see we also have, if we go back to there, this is where I've saved that file that we, that we just did as a DUF file as well. And that way my routine will be able to look at this particular file right here and uh, load in the right textures, whereas it wouldn't otherwise. I, mean, I always like to break them up. That's the other thing I want to show you about this too. Remember I always suggest it's a good idea to break up the textures. Um, that way you can move around individual things. So we broke it up the textures with the scene and with this selected, the top selected, I'm going to go up to my script and run this on that DAS DUF file that we saved out in the exports. And you'll see it doesn't write any maps. That's one of the downsides when we save it out like this as our own DEF file. We're actually going to go ahead and have to break up all of these uh, ones that we separated out. So I've shown you this in the past, how to do it. You select them all, you go up to modify, and we go to detach. We're going to unattach these from that parent. And now we can go ahead, and with all of those selected, we have them all selected, but they're not attached. Now we can go ahead and run the Python script, and it will find the uh, textures here. So while it's doing that, it takes about a minute or, or, or less, um, I want to emphasize this again. First of all, if you have a file that's not a DUF file, if you load it into DAZ, make sure after you export it to FBX or even before, it doesn't matter, you save it out as a scene, as a DUF file somewhere. That's the file you're going to point to with my routine in order to get the textures, number one. Number two, when you do that, if it asks you to, if it's going to break it up into individual meshes like we did here, then make sure you select them all and detach them from the main one. And that way, then you can go ahead and run my routine and it will find all the textures on those particular items. So uh, those are the, the two tips of the day in order to, to get things to work. And again, like I said, I'm a big fan of stonemasons. He, uh, he does a lot of neat work. Uh, his early work was a dystopian future stuff, which is fine. I'm, I'm not, basically the, the future is already dystopian enough. I don't really need to see that, but I love his later stuff. I love his, 
uh, Streets of London and uh, the steampunk version of the Streets of London is great. So here we go. We're at 154 maps. We got all those maps. And um, and then notice it, uh, it brought in those glow, even has the glow maps on the signs and things. So anyway, that's how we deal with files that are non-duff files. And yet my routine is going to need a duff file. Okay? So we'll see you on the forums.